Hey everybody, welcome to Bucketman Scouting. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a scouting film review on Gravon Dexter Sr. He is 6'5", 318 pounds, defensive tackle out of Florida. Um, before I get into this film review, I just wanted to clarify, if I haven't clarified in the past, these notes, strengths and weaknesses, and the notes I have on a specific player are strictly my own. They're nobody else's scouting reports notes. They're my uh, notes because I watch hours upon hours upon hours of film on these players. The uh, ideal situation that I have him in is a 4-3 defensive tackles, 3-tech. And then the style I have is an attacking 4-3 type of scheme. So let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. So his first strength is quick-footed pass rusher with loose hips and good change of direction skills moving very well for his size. Quick-footed with rare burst for his size, very good quickness off the snap to split defenders and penetrate the pocket. Strength number three, agility, at, or my apologies, agile run stopper at end extends to grab backs from the backside and possesses foot quickness and hustle to chase down plays. Strength number four delivers a strong punch and uses his hands to shed blocks to move plays in the hole or outside the box. He uses lower body strength to anchor inside. Strength number five played with good leverage even on the nose despite average bulk. Hustle defender with a good bull rush inside that can close and get home when quarterbacks leave the pocket. Now I'm getting into his weaknesses. Weakness number one. Plays upright and struggles with leverage too often. Stonewall at the line and doesn't show the hand strength or technique to shed or redirect blockers. And then weakness number two, average athletically with average straight line speed and tight hips. Not a natural bender. Lacks secondary pass rush move. So let's get into the film review. This is against Kentucky this past year. So on this play right here, he is lined up right here. So he's lined up as basically the nose guard ta uh, defense tackle right here. Again, he is going inside, and then he's going to wrap around right here. You're going to see how quickly he gets off the block on number 75, the center for Kentucky. Bam. Let's play that again. So you're going to see his first step is going to go inside right there. And then he is basically going to see this quarterback do a quarterback sneak through this hole that is opening up right there. And you're going to have Gravon Dexter anchor, slide this way, and redirect his movement down here. Very good play by Gravon Dexter. You're going to see how it anchors it. Bam. Okay, on this play right here, he's lined up there as a three-tech against Kentucky. Bam, very good play. Again, he's not the best pass rusher interior-wise, but I believe if you have a Batman, he could be your Robin in a 4-3. So if you have a Jordan Davis lined out here, you could put a Gravon Dexter next to him. I think he would be the perfect replacement for the Eagles for a guy like uh, Gravon Hargrave who is probably going to leave in free agency you can pair him with a Jordan Davis I think that would be very very good uh, for somebody like that I think he fits a 4-3 defense perfectly he is a Robin to the Batman in my personal opinion it will elevate his game like I said, he doesn't have a lot of great pass rushing moves, especially going straight forward. His bull rush is average in my opinion, but he does have some good hand placement moves. And you're going to see right here. Shows him off right there. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. I think he's a better run defender than he is a pass rusher. You're going to see him throw off this blocker right here. Great hand movement. Comes up. Bam. Finishes the play. That's what I want to see from my interior uh, defense alignment. Are you going to continue to play when you're getting beat? Because he gets beat initially, but then he's going to shut him off there. Bam, get off his block, throw him down. Perfect, perfect run defender in a 4-3. He would fit that attacking 4-3 style perfectly. So this is against Utah right here. He's lined up right here. 
shuts him off, bam. See what I'm talking about? I think this guy's a better run defender than he is a pass rushing specialist. I think he is a run defender specialist than a pass rushing specialist because I think he has that fluid movement when he's going straight forward, especially against power uh, offensive linemen where he can use his agility and his upper body fluidity to get off uh, blockers. Bam. This guy fits a 4-3 defense to a T. And I think he would elevate uh, the Eagles' run defense. That This guy would be a perfect, perfect uh, scheme fit for them. Right here. He would also fit the 49ers, too. You could put him next to Eric Armstead. He can learn from a guy like Eric Armstead, and he can grow as a player. Again, I don't think he fits a 3-4 defense whatsoever. I think that you have to have somebody next to him because you can't do what the Denver Broncos did. The Denver Broncos are a perfect example of putting players in, in a system that they don't fit in. For example, DJ Jones. I think DJ Jones is a better 4-3 uh, nose tackle than a 3-4 nose tackle. Um, and also, you put DJ Jones next to Draymond Jones. Draymond Jones isn't going to elevate your game whatsoever. Um, so... You need to put Gravon Dexter in a situation where he can learn, where he can study, and where he could take a lot of, uh, you know, Eric Armstead skills, for example. This is against LSU. Bam, ran right at him. Great play by Gravon Dexter. Look how he closes the hole right here. Watch how he closes the hole. Bam, uses that arm. Perfect play by Gravon Dexter. That's a great play. This is against Georgia, national champions. Very good offensive line for Georgia, too. They have one of the best O-lines in the country, possibly the best O-line in the country. Again, I just think he's a better run defender than he is a pass rush specialist. So, again, that's why I think he fits the Eagles better, because the Eagles need to get better in their run defense. You know, you're going to have Jordan Davis, who's going to eat up two blocks with just a big size physical force that he is in the interior, who I wanted the Denver Broncos to take this past year, but uh, they traded all their picks for a quarterback who didn't amount to anything. But anyway, right there, perfect play by Gervon Dexter. I just think he's an elite run defender. You see how he gets off the block quick? I'll show you guys again. <clears throat> Watch how he gets off his block. He's lined up as that nose guard 4-3 defensive tackle there. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him quickly. He gets off right there. Bam. That's what I want to see. I want to see that. So this is against Florida right here. He's lined up right here. Let's watch his movements. Gets his hand. Oh, cool. That is, that's awesome. That's what I want to see. Bam. Yes. Look, look, watch, watch his bull rush move right here. Gets him on there and then watch him push him like that. Bam. Use that, uses that extension right there too. Very good play by Gravon Dexter. That's a hell of a play. Okay, against Texas A&M. There you go. Again, he does not get pushed around easily at all basically i think he really maintains his leverage he maintains his technique and then uses his technique to kind of observe what the offense is doing and then he is going to use that to stop the run i just think he's an elite run defender and his stock is rising after his combine but again it's the combine it's the underwear olympics here he is right here lined up. I think you can move him along that defensive front, too. You can put him there. You can put him there. You can kind of switch him around. This can kind of be like Eric Armstead and Gravon Dexter, or uh, Jordan Davis and Gravon Dexter. You know, teams that run an attacking 4-3 style defense. He, I think he would also fit the Bengals, too. They run an attacking 4-3 style. Again, he's getting double teamed right here. And you see how he doesn't get pushed around even when he gets double teamed? He's getting neutralized right there. But bam, he's able to read and observe what the quarterback's doing when he's doing a quarterback sneak. Watch him get off his block and wrap around right here where the quarterback is going. Very good play by Gravon Dexter. See, if this was Draymond Jones, he would have been pushed all the way out here. That would have been Draymond Jones.
Okay, right here, he's lined up inside, going against Washington. Oh, very good play. Very good play. Look at that bull rush. Watch that, watch that first step. Bam. Gets off. Boom. Watch his hand placement, too. Boom. Very good play. Let's watch that again. Let's watch his hands. Pushes him back. You see how he gets underneath the shoulder pads there? And he's able to use his lower body leverage and push him back. Upper body strength sheds him off. Good play by Gravon Dexter. So this will be the last play I show you guys for today. Um, this is against LSU. He's lined up straight up against that center. My apologies. Um, here he is lined up right there. And you're going to see... Boom. You see that agility? Watch him go straight forward against that center. Boom. See, see what interior pressure does? Uses that leverage, gets him off, bam. Let's watch it again. Watch the hand placement. Gets him under, grabs him right there. You see him grab right there. He's able to get around there boom very good play by gravon dexter like i said i think that this guy would fit a attacking 4-3 style defense so teams like the he would fit the bills he would fit the he would fit the Bengals. he would fit the niners he'd fit the eagles he would fit those 4-3 style teams and you can line him out as a three tech 4-3 defensive tackle and you compare him next to a guy like, if you compare him next to an Ed Oliver, that would be awesome. If you paired him next to an Eric Armstead for the 49ers, if you paired him next to a Jordan Davis with the Eagles, a Fletcher Cox if he comes back with the Eagles, guys like that where he can, they could take him under their wing, he can grow as a player, he can grow as a professional, and he can learn from great 4-3 uh, defensive tackles. You know, there's some really good 4-3 defensive tackles. I would think he would also fit with the Colts next to a DeForest Buckner as well. So you pair him next to those type of guys, he could be the Robin to their Batman. That's what I'm trying to get at with this player. I don't think he's a guy that is going to over overwhelm you with his skill set. I think his skill set is a perfect, perfect correlation to a Batman. You know, the Denver Broncos used to have Malik Jackson as the Batman and Derek Wolf as the Robin. You know, they had those two interior pass rushers and a 3-4 defense. You need those two players interior-wise to help collapse the pocket. So again, this is my film review on Gravon Dexter. He is 6'5", 318 pounds, defensive tackle out of Florida.